whether it comes off a production line or out of an amateur builder's garage, a little bit of history is made each time an aircraft is flown for the first time. December 12th, 2021 was my day to do just that. A long time in the making, the building of what would become November 1018 Romeo had become upon delivery of the kit to the original owner builder on the 4th day of January, 1994. He apparently worked nights and weekends until his last entry in the builder's log in 2008, when the aircraft was about 75% complete. It must have been some sort of bad circumstance because the Kit Fox was apparently abandoned in barn storage until being purchased in 2017 by another gentleman in Connecticut, who spent a lot of time cleaning out birds' nests and did very little else to it. I found the aircraft and purchased the project in March 2019 and trailered it back to our home in Florida in April. What followed turned out to be a lot more work than I had anticipated. nights and weekends, it takes a while to put in the 300 hours plus it took me to get it ready for inspection. It was signed off for the airworthiness certificate on, of all days, January 6, 2021. As the test flight day drew near, being a low time private pilot, as well as low tail dragger time, the only thing keeping me from being scared out of my mind was the thousand plus hours of hang gliding time I've logged over the more than 40 years including more than 200 hours of tandem hang gliding flight instruction. In addition, I'd recently logged over 10 hours of dual instruction in a Kit Fox with 60 takeoffs and landings. Unfortunately, my audio recording setup to the GoPro malfunctioned and did not record anything other than engine noise. What does not really show in the video is the careful point-by-point -point narration as I went through the flight test. What looks to be just flying in circles around the airport is actually orbiting the field within glide distance while experimenting with power settings, air speeds, climb and descent rates, use of flaps and trim, and watching the engine gauges. The little plane flew beautifully. It trims out straight and level hands off, controls are light and precise, and the gauges were right in the green the whole time. I was determined to fly the plan, which says 30 minutes in the EAA flight test manual. So at about 25 minutes, I reduced power and descended.
with about a four knot crosswind, I managed to pull off a fairly smooth three point landing, including an uneventful first test flight. So, only 27 years, 11 months, and 8 days after work first began, this great little aircraft finally took to the skies. Many thanks to my wife, Mary Ann, for being by my side the whole time. EAA technical advisor, Roy Plakas, for his priceless wisdom, coaching, and occasional tools. And my best friend, Bill Yarton, for his willingness to observe and assist on multiple occasions.